Hey everybody, welcome. Today we're making a comfort food recipe for you. We're making some almond flour banana bread. Now, of course, I'm using almond flour to keep the carbs low, and we're going to be using an a alternative sugar substitute, but it's real food. It's uh, something that I use a lot. Some of you who've watched my videos will probably know what it is. And uh, it has more vitamins and minerals and fiber in it, and it's just much better for you. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So we're going to start out by measuring out our almond flour. Now when you do this, you want to pack it just ever so lightly, just a little bit. Not like you would with brown sugar, but uh, just get a little pat down. So we're going to place all of our dry ingredients into a large bowl. First up, we got our almond flour, of course. Next is our arrowroot flour. And then we're going to measure out some baking powder. And then we'll add some baking soda to this. And next up is some salt. Here comes some cinnamon, let me in. And grab your handy dandy whisk and really combine this up so everything's really mixed in well. All right, we're gonna set our dry ingredients aside and bring in another bowl for our wet ingredients. So I'm gonna grab some very ripe bananas and we're gonna place them here in a bowl. And you wanna make sure that they have nice brown spots because the more brown they are, the sweeter they're gonna be and the better your bread's gonna be. So go ahead and, and mash these up until they're nice and soft and still a little bit chunky, but you know, mashed up a bit. Then I'm, I measured it out for about a cup and a quarter of mashed bananas and it turned out that it was the right amount and I could have just you know you just left it right in that bowl but I decided to measure it out and wash the bowl. Alright so we're gonna start with some eggs I'm gonna add um, my three eggs to there. Oh look at that little something in there that I didn't want. Okay use your shell to take it out it works best. Alright once you get your eggs in there take your whisk and whisk it up and you'll want to add your vanilla. I'm adding a whole tablespoon here I know it looks like a lot but it's it really works well. The flavors are great. All right, so here is my sweetener. That's date paste. So if you want to know how to make date paste, I have a video for you. Uh, this stuff is fantastic, full of vitamins and minerals and fiber, and it's just a great sweetener. I'll leave a link for you in the description of the video on how to make it. Go ahead and whisk that up with your whisk and just combine everything. And then we're going to pour the wet mixture into the dry mixture. And grab a spoon and we'll just stir that until we get it all combined. So when you have this almost all combined, add your bananas and then stir that in. So to bake this bread, you're gonna need a nine by five inch loaf pan, and we're gonna coat it with some coconut oil so that it won't stick too much to the sides. And we're actually gonna put some parchment paper in there as well. So tear off a piece of parchment paper that just fits to the sides. You'll notice that part of this is exposed, but the coconut oil will keep that bread from sticking on the ends. Go ahead and pour your batter into the pan and then smooth it out with a spatula. Then we're gonna place this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 50 minutes, but I like to check it with a toothpick at about 45 minutes, and then you know it's done when that toothpick comes out clean. When you take it out of the oven, I know you're gonna be tempted to wanna to taste it, but let it cool for, you know, 10 minutes or so. So just use that parchment paper to pull it out of the pan and let it rest. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to serve up my warm banana bread out of the oven with a little bit of butter so that it just melts right on top. So you can do that if you want. This is so good out of the oven. The flavor was delicious. It's moist, it's flavorful, and it's not too sweet. 
I hope you enjoyed our recipe today. It was very delicious and I hope you try it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share the video, and leave me a comment as always. I'd love to hear from you. So take care, everybody.